from Patriots Point, the Charleston Battery and Phoenix Rising contest the 2023 USL Championship Final. Ball muscled away from Traore. That's going to come with a card. First of the night goes to Mohamed Traore. Arturo Rodriguez by his lonesome. Rodriguez near post attempt to flick that on. Bicycle kick sent toward goal and away. This Mark Koenig that twisted and contorted to send that toward Rio Snovo. That's how Michigan State wins national championships. That's how he thought Charleston could get to this point. But even he would admit no one could have anticipated this. Mark Koenig covered by Rio Snovo. Phoenix out in front again. This is what the battery are looking for though. And you know, trying to find a way to get the extra breakdown. That's a way. Segber's got their mechanic! He's been knocking on the door! He knocks it down! Nick Markanek puts the battery ahead! They shift you side to side. It caught the head up and off they're running. Exactly what you want. You get the high line of Segber's Phoenix. Spotted the wide run of Traeger. No, 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 no. Traeger cuts. Traeger sends it wide. And that may have lit this candle. And Mike Nickerson working the lines. Rodriguez the corner. Driven header toward goal. Harvey sends it soaring over the bar. All the way till the title game falling just short against Louisville. But it was the road game in the Western Conference Final at Orange County where they turned it into their home fortress, championship soccer stadium. Something different here tonight, Mike, because emotionally they're rattled. They're frustrated in this game, but it also allows them to advance themselves and be more comfortable in these transitional moments. Harvey, Harvey slide, penalty! A penalty for Phoenix, seated by Ikaza. Again, you find your target nine and finding a way to play off of him. They haven't been able to get it from the front line. Armanakis comes, Segbers doesn't bite, but he allows this run from Carlos Harvey to come forward. Credit to Emilia Casa for getting out here, but watch the drive. He gets the first touch. Beautiful by Carlos Harvey. It's in front of the player. The argument here from the Charleston Battery fans is going to be the fact that Harvey is simulating a little bit, leaning into it. Has scored four goals this year, but all eyes on Arturo, the former rising star. Arturo Rodriguez ricochets around. Mark Koenig, that blocked, and now lifted over the bar. Third time tonight, we've seen a Phoenix Rising player just in front of net of Rocco Rios Novo with the clearance off. Little deflection. And on that kiss that was headed for the bottom corner, one of the double. Good take by Mark Koenig. Phoenix entering the penalty area, rolled across, never got to Arteaga. Arteaga, 22 goal contributions this year. The starter for most of the season coming off the bench in the playoff run. Return to Harvey. Trejo. Ball slapped outside. Cross toward Arteaga. Never got there. Settled and lifted out of play by Cuejo, who has scored some absolute scorchers in the postseason. He had the winner in the conference semi at Orange County and the conference final at Sacramento. Fifteen minutes to play tonight. Charleston, four titles in their history. One in the modern era of the championship, 96-03, 2010-2012. And of course, an Open Cup final along the way, too. Harvey knocks it outside. Gallardo got the shot away and rips it at Muse who now is busy, a rare occasion thus far tonight. Dodson in, Augie Williams holds up, drops back, Markanek, 
and line crossing header. Oh, a reaction save on Rodriguez by Rios Novo. The space is there. The key factor is decision making right now. They're still a little slow on the trigger to let the release come. That half second over the course of the night has cost them. Avila stumbling. Angled at the top, curled at frame, met by Rios Novo. Turned away briefly, Gallardo once more. Whips the cross over Harvey. Retained by Rising, there's the cross! Hammer down, and in! Unreal! Phoenix on level terms, they did it again! Back from the dead in the 90th minute! Carlos Harvey just impacts the positioning of Beto Avila and Derek Dodson, so they can't get out quick enough. Do not allow this ball to hit the ground. Emilio Icaza, ball bouncing in front, handled by Rio Snovo. As the final seconds tick away. Is there anything left here for Phoenix? They sprint into the attack. And we are going to extra time. Nick Markanik in the 36th minute. And he's replaced by Daniel Crutzen, the three-time Canadian Premier League winner at Forge. We'll play 15 minutes each direction. Gallardo. He could have a go. Gallardo! Off the post and cleared. Trey Muse leaping. Cuejo. Wow, look at him go. Cuejo lashing. A touch from Crutzen, the center back, will send it Muse bound. But Trey Muse unapologetically just so calmly collecting this thing on the near post. Emil Cuejo. Little cutback in the one on ones, and that's going in. It's not for Trey Muse. Emil Cuejo, an interesting one that looks 17 appearances all season long. You got a goal and assist in almost 550 minutes of play. Only well, he's got two goals in the last 50 for Phoenix Rising coming into the match. Avila opens up. Allen. moving here if you're the Charleston battery keep the ball moving make Phoenix chase a little bit let them know that you're still here ball across Crawford 15 minutes down 15 minutes to go and still no champion so many of these players this is the culmination of decades of hard work Phoenix get the first touch of the final 15. No winner, Pens. Ikaza. Ikaza offering for the battery, looping header caught by Rio Snobo. Sarah Gordon plays for Angel City. All league defender certainly knows what this moment is like for Charleston as well as Phoenix as Charleston takes over in the attacking third. Guys, extra time is ball across header high from Williams. Avila chasing free kick Charleston Battery in the 115th minute, and it's gonna come with a card. Zembrano, who had not been booked yet, it was. It will be decided in penalties tonight against Muse to start the shootout. Cuejo! Oh! The Panenka! Denied by Muse! Charleston into the catbird seat.
It takes something special to pull it off, just from a technical standpoint. But some kind of stones here. Trey Muse doesn't take the bait. It's not the best version of it anyway. <laughs> what a decision by Emil Cueto right out of the gate. And momentum back to the battery. AJ Patterson, the Grenada International. Ben Pierman said, AJ, this is your team. He came in late in this game to try and get us the distance. That ball actually got sent all the way down to the other end. And Emilio Icaza just ran down to pick it up. That's courtesy of Trey Muse, <laughs> just the escort for Quasia. <laughs> His opportunity right out of this stadium. In hopes that for Phoenix Rising, that's not the case. Watch this man, though. An absolute laser of a left foot. One for one in his career. It was with Grenada against Belize in Nations League B in 2019. Can Charleston consolidate against Rocco Rios, Novo, and Phoenix and lead after one round? A.J. Patterson puts it in! One round down, the battery lead. A kiss to the crest, a kiss to the crowd. Daniel Crutzen, four of five in his career. He missed his last attempt September of 21 against Kai in CONCACAF League title after title all he did at forge was help lead that team to become the dominant power the earliest days of the canadian premier league he really does need it crutzen saved news and charleston can taste it now He's done his homework. Trey Muse reads this the entirety of the way. Watch how quickly he gets off his line down into the bottom corner. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Little distraction. And to be fair, it's a good save, but not the best of penalties by the left footer. The celebration, and you saw Augie Williams only one player has scored more against Phoenix than him. Williams got it by Rio Novo. 2-0, two rounds down. And all of a sudden, Mike, it's must-make territory. You cannot afford to miss right now. The third striker. And a penalty shootout can be the most influential, the way that you can swing it either way. Renzo Zambrano. And the pressure on the Phoenix Rising midfielder. Five years with the Timbers. Zambrano against Muse, who's made two saves already. Zambrano! Oh! Wow, what a hit! What pressure. And a nod of assurance back to his goalkeeper and Rocco Rios Nova that you're still alive. He tattooed this thing into the upper corner. Best penalty of the night. He has never taken an official penalty. What a game tonight from Leland Archer. Rocco Rios Novo doesn't need one save, he needs two. But if he fails to make one here, Charleston will be on the verge. Leland Archer. Oh, it's wide! Air finally refills the lungs of the rising faithful.
They still breathe. It's just not the best penalty, to be fair, by Leland Archer. He comes back across it. He's too square. And as he steps through, doesn't have enough momentum, overcuts it. It's very common. Got to come more at an angle in these situations. To be fair, goalkeeper there anyway. How good was Erickson Gallardo tonight? The second half substitute. Gallardo dances and delivers. 2-2. Two, two. And a pin dropping. That, that, this place just went silent. All the air out of it for the Charleston Battery. Just a never say die attitude for this Phoenix Rising team and the super sub of Erickson Gallardo with an incredible pen to keep them in it. Make and Phoenix will be on the cusp being sent home. Chris Allen followed Ben Pierman from Memphis. A critical component all season long. Allen saved Rios Novo! All night long. And again, just not the best of penalties. He doesn't have a ton of pace on it, but really well read still by Rios Novo to get off the line. Actually had to reach back a little bit. He over... Close, but not enough. And now Phoenix with a save would win the title. Nearly for Trey Muse. And he's nearly there for his third save of the night. He got a touch to it. He read it the whole way. Just too much pace behind the ball from Artiaga. Derek Dodson. Want to try right back? Why not? A striker at Georgetown, as intelligent and thought-provoking a player as you'll hear in this league. What a remarkable come up he's had. Score, we go to sudden death. Saved by Rios Novo or a miss, Phoenix win the title. Derek Dodson. Oh, no! Phoenix wins it! Their first championship crown! Phoenix rising! A couple of penalties tonight where you just get a little bit square, and I'll tell you what, Derek Dodson not only comes a bit head on, I'm not sure that's going in, even with the tiss of death by Rocco Rios Novo. Everybody looks at the young goalkeeper, just 21 years of age, on loan from Linus, the Los Angeles native, at five foot 10, saw the go-ahead goal, the late equalizer, the penalties, and the star.